So anyways, Mamoudi, I met the thing called the Sion Bazaads of the of the Bouncer Dawn. Hey guys, how's it going? Here we be. Okay. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wait, what? There's only two of us? Huh? What? Well, got another rescue. Hopefully this time... They stay. Sushi eater. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Fellow Lala with a mustache. I haven't set my the card. Like many other people, I guess. Alright. I don't know. The funny thing is this is this game is very chill in that regard. This is probably where I fall silent. Mesmerized today the the beautiful colors. At least we can see a bit more. Oh, a tiny key. Need that, I guess. I guess new. <laughs> One's a paladin. Okay, guys. You know the drill. The lever. that button. You know, it's great. I'm at crotch level of every other uh, creature. <laughs> what the? You took, huh? You, you took fall damage. Oh, you must have jumped. Okay. Fester, all that delicious shit. That's kind of the basic idea of the low level uh, setup here. Do I not have AoE yet? No, I'm not. I'm sinking down to that point where I don't have it. Go, Paladin. Be our hero. My energy drain. There we go there. What's that person going? I have to be mobile right now. Stand near, buddy. I got aggro the sprites. There you go. That's usually a trick. If you aggro anything, just Try to stick close to your little tanky shoes. Tanky shoes. That's the strat. Oh, this thing. He hasn't drew the aggro. Just kill it, I guess. Oh. I'm gonna go, buddy. Good job, anything. Okay. Okay, he did a provoke. He shield lobbed it. Yeah, hey, the up. Upper where your party meter is, it's the enmity. So keep an eye out on the enmity if you're trying to draw things there. The 
I don't think about Fester. I just, you just blow your load and then you have to wait on the cooldown. <laughs> as far as I know, that it doesn't really have any reason. Oh, there. That moves like a. Oh, it's almost way up ahead. Lancer actually tanking. What the hell? Goon tanking. Interesting. You actually can take it though. doing Goonie. They're not even Dragoon yet. But he was confident enough to do it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Secret path. First boss. Tank Buster. Oh, they added those to the low, low, low level dungeons. That shows that Tank Buster attack. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That's a little different. I don't remember that. Different. Did they change Realm Reborn attacks? For old, older level content, it's gonna catapult onto me. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, it's gonna throw a rock at me. A meme? Yeah, I really don't remember this. I'm guessing it's like in this corner here. Do I already have these? I already have that. Oh, I don't think I have that. Plundered earrings. I already possessed that unique. Oh, okay. I have plundered earrings? What? Oh, that's just better. I don't know why. I, I must have randomly got it. Oh, oh, oh. I apparently can go through solid matter. They almost ditched me. Troll face. <laughs> ah, did we miss something? Oh, we have to go through the sides here. Okay. Oh, there's the fire sand. He obviously bombs have it. I'm gonna quickly get that coffer. Oh, I already have that. But other people might be happy with it. I already blew the hole. We need a bunch more? Oh, you need a bomb, okay. People are almost acting like they haven't done this dungeon. That guy's a paladin. He must have done it. Unless he leveled the hell out of himself too to get to that point before doing this dungeon. It's one of the reasons why I want to get a... I, I just want to continue the story until you get a mount, right? The traveling will be a whole lot easier. This guy's attacking me. Paladin's having a hard time. Thankfully, the enemies don't just fucking touch you to death. Okay, that should be enough, fellas. You got it. I wonder if they changed the mechanic to that one boss. I remember you have to draw them into the explosion. I could see them changing that. Yeah, this thing. Aren't we supposed to do something like that?
Oh, okay. Am I wrong? I remember having to blow something up. I think it's uh, something else. Always oh, dividing. Okay. Wait, I swear I remember this thing used to split into little enemies instead of now it's like a dodge AoE mechanic. I remember having a Berenstain moment? <laughs> Over here, buddy. <laughs> changed and made it a little bit more straightforward because oddly enough the early dungeons had a little bit more puzzle puzzles to it all right have it yeah I guess it's the upside everyone gets all the good stuff That's Fester. <laughs> Fester's quest, baby. We got our limit break. It will be great. Uh, I think the best thing to do, at least to make it more entertaining, is maybe I'll switch to a tank once I get my other class to level 15. I'll hope to get 15 plus at this point. But yeah. To the mobile one. Oh, is he? Full tanking. Oh shit. Okay, okay, we're getting a mosh pit going on over here. Oh, <laughs> that guy like pulled a fuck ton. I'm gonna split some of the attention a, a little bit. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, multitasking again. Oh, our tank might go down. We need to kill quickly. Hit, hit the heavy hitter. There we go. There we go. We're getting the blood pumping. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't really... Oh, uh, now I can unleash my full potential. My mobility potential. There you go. We are brave adventurers. That got a little hairy. Is that guarded by anything? Oh, I have that. Oh. I'm going to just skip this. It's just big troll. Say your choice, please. Because oh. they're probably going to start it. <laughs> Wait, where? Where'd we end up? Oh, we got turned around. <laughs> We're all turned around! Was there a limit break reset? I can't remember. Nice. Yeah, good. My thing doesn't rotate. I guess the great. Oh, shit, okay. There's some of these mechanics I don't quite remember that was in this boss fight. In fact, I think I remember the map was different. Am I wrong? Oh, I can't, I can't greet this unless I... I see this for my secondary. Grand Slam. Oh, that's a tank buster. Okay. Doing that for the hell of it. <laughs> Colossal Slam! Yeah, 
didn't even get a chance to <laughs> do my limit break. I did set my limit break. Alright, skip it. He just turns into dust and then we're like, yeah, he did. Uh, I'll give it to I'll give it to the Paladin, even though. I'll greed for it. That'd be nice to get that. And give a little bow. <laughs> I need to get a bid farewell. Ah, no accommodations that time. Hmm. Oh well. We need to get accommodations. Oh god, it's like they hated you. <laughs> well, copper hell taken care of. So we go back to. <sighs> I was gonna go down there to see if I had to kill toads, but uh, I'm sure I do. But I'm not gonna bother. I really want to get the mounts so I can properly do the the hunts. You know, well, properly more. I mean to say, more efficiently do the hunts, because now it's gotten to the point where I have to go to completely separate areas. Um, okay, do I have to report back to there? I'll just do the adventure skill teleport. Thank you very much. God, this is a nightmare just to get a <laughs> just to get a match for that. That was that was unsettling. Just, oh, jeez, what the? What is happening? What's <laughs> with the slag? The servers are going to shit. Oh, what the? There's a duty. Okay. Uh, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our minion operations our minion operations re resume and, and all the have been materials if she's rebuilt. Yeah. I'll share the good tidings with the pop with Papa Sean. As the next time I see him, as for you, I want you'll want to report to Mamudi. Okay, yeah, sure. But what's with this duty? No. Shut your mouth, you thieving swine. You stole from me. Don't even try to think to deny it. But please, sir, I didn't steal nothing. I b b brought this pay for, for my own coin. What rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford mag mag maggoty mole 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 meat. That, that was a... Uh, Quite alliteration threw me off. Much less the choice to cut of dodo. I'm going to say it one more time. Get back what you stole, or I'll, ma I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. Well, they hate the refugees. Is this an allegory? By rights, I should return you over to the brass blades. You know, help keep the streets safe from law for law-abiding citizens. But I, I'm a, res I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me, whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to get his pee pee wet. Knows the thrusting. But, but I've done nothing wrong. Twelve as me witness. I'm not stepping back. Hello! Help me, tiny child man! <laughs> Please, adventure! Help me, I beg ye! I swear to me, mother's grave, I, w I didn't steal nothing. I brought this with me. I bought these with my own coin, I'd save. meal. <laughs> Use your legs. <laughs> what the fuck's that gesture? I'm a child ring. And who the hell's. Are you and what you uh, and when you're at, what the hell and who the hell's are you when you're at home, a dog's master? Don't make me bust out my book. I'm gonna Bible thump your ass. <laughs> I've had enough of this mur murmur's face. You lot, teach him a lesson. Well, I guess this is why it's a duty. Out of nowhere, I gotta clean the streets. Da -da 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 
Is my carbuncle out? Huh? Hmm. What a, oh, it is out. Okay. Our, oh, do we take turns here? Alright. You think you can beat me? <laughs> Not bad for an adventurer. I'll teach you how to ad adventure here. Yeah. I told you. Stop bloody gopping. Give me a hand, will you? Yeah, boss. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Ow, you. You're buggering my face up. Take spear blast. So much for your feather foot. It's an outdated skill. Oh, jeez. Okay. So much for backup. Is that all? Maybe that guy. Oh, that guy's not getting involved? Okay. That's all there was. What? He killed my minions. Oh, I knocked him. Oh. <laughs> I read him the Bible. I, I will convert his ways. I ain't getting paid enough for this. <laughs> hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you, thrice more. Oh, no. The Icho, or whatever the hell they call it. Saints preserve us. Oh, we're gonna get a little glimpse into what happened to her life, I guess. I'd swear there were more refugees than I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But the but it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? I don't know, Alda is the best place to be. <laughs> it's simple. Really, while a number of ham hamlets survived the intermediate aftermath of the calamity, they were no they were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had ever been rendered bar barren and cut off from the trade routes. And uh, and problems like this is n aren't easily solved. Man, I can't read shit today. <laughs> Though they tried the best of it. It was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? It's the same thing happening in other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Alda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural the refugees would try their luck here first. Yeah, it's basically the state's refugee issues, ain't it? My heart goes out to them. It truly does. But I would, re I would be lying if I wasn't, wasn't apprehensive. I hope their patient, I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, I've always have, I, we always have an, Im have the immortal flames. I dare say the breast blades, well, are, would be welcome to help. Yeah. The heroes who fought in the Garlean Empire patrolling the streets of Fort Riffraff? It may well come to that. Impro impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure to have some refugees will turn to crime. You know what a place like, uh, you know what this place is like. If you have no coin, you've no hope. <gasps> what has become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. There are some a a who <clears throat> some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderins, you you get your dodo tenderins here, guaranteed cheaper than Thailand. Thank ye, for, thank ye, Kashtim, madam. Please come again. Looking around, you think Alder was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the prosperity, you'll see the, the end of misery and suffering. Uh, the eco plot device. Full of eco energy, it is.
Uh, sir, are you all right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what now? You mean to threaten the our defenseless citizen? I'm gonna come go, Megibu. What? You saw her buy meat, you say? Th that's absurd. <laughs> Aye, as I did. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Must be the vendor. H who said that? Me. Over. There? God damns you. Girl, I will overlook this, but just this once. Gods bless ye, adventure. Had ye come along, who knows what would have what monst that monster might have done? I do bear thinking about. Later, <laughs> Give me your chicken that you got. Oh, no chicken. Oh. Oh, you too. <sighs> oh, okay. Ever the selfless hero, I see. Is it Yushtola? Oh, it is. Uh, it's been a while, adventure. I have been watching you closely since you flew out of Limsa Laminsa. You discharged the duty of Admiral's personal envoy with admirable humility. And you have displayed unflattering courage in the face of danger ever since. Whensoever you come upon this in need, I get you gave them succor with no thought of, of personal gain. In summary, you have demonstrated of the qualities to seek in an adventure. We seek in an adventure. Uh, what the, what the funny thing is, they refer to as an adventure. The funny thing is, is adventure a title of being a hero? They might as well say T title of a hero, but I guess it sounds less. Uh, embellished? I don't know. For reasons I cannot uh, well explain, your every deed seems in inver invariably to serve the general good. Whenever you mean it or not, it's a happy knack, and one who which speaks volumes of your character. Yet for all your admirable qualities, it is a gift which intrigues me most. I speak of your visions that you experience, visions that you had mere moments ago. If I'm not mistaken, I can provide you with means to understand them. An acquaintance of mine ble is blessed with the self-same talent, you see. If you so desire, I can introduce you to her. She and I fight a common cause, a cause which greatly benefit you for your support. In other words, the Scions is. If you agree to lend us your strength, we glad you <clears throat> we'd be glad to have you all within your power in your personal endeavors. Think of, think of my offer for a while, should you ex decide to accept it. I pray, speak with Mo Mamudi. The prep, the, pr whatever, let's go. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That's right, you're using a fucking twinkly branch. It's kind of funny seeing her looking like this, uh, how she looks now in comparison. In form of her, you've been chosen by the signs of the seventh dawn. And she will tell you where to find us. Oh, wow! Of the seventh dawn? So anyways, Mamudi, I met the thing called the Sion Bazads of the of the Bouncer Dawn. Hey guys, how's it going? Did you know I was invited to become a Scion? Yeah, I know. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna slap you. I don't have the slap emote. But yeah. That's my life now. So that's me. I'm a scion now, I guess. We're a bunch of dorks. I'm gonna stand on this. Or it doesn't matter. Seems like that are becoming more common. I'm afraid I don't. Want oh, okay. This guy's a gladiator, I guess. I kind of want to get the 30 so I can finally do my job quest. Well, I think technically I, sh I have to still do the 25 one. But that's fine. I'm probably maybe I should skip this. Oh, before that, oh, oh, is this that healer that had the whole? Thank you for sparing time. I didn't realize that, but I've been longing to speak for you for a while. Yeah, this is that healer that was basically in the party disbanded on her. I met her. I'm an adventurer like you. Very. No, I'm not a very good one. It's true to be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends, and I went, went. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, your leader, a uh, party was killed. Yes, yeah. The the tank. <laughs> 
His name is Ivan. He's on dust. He's on... I'm just kind of skimming. Because it is kind of interesting how she's showing up. I don't I don't remember this character. I, uh, she's probably not even significant at all. I believe that would have been succeeded if he did not rob them of a chance since that day of a long matter of entry. All of that as you have achieved, I find that I have inspired. And that is what it was. Training anew. But I wanted to meet you first and ask you your name. I'm a sp guy with this gobble. Spud Nightingale. I shan't forget. Thank you, Spud Nightingale. <laughs> okay. Adventuring can be a cruel bleeding business. Yeah. And we said, but you're shy on the seventh dawn. Hey, what are you saying? Signs of the seventh dawn? They're beginning to move on. What was all this uh, shit before here? Oh, I, ins I guess I inspired that random healer. It just let wanted to let me know, I guess. Move on in earnest, then. Listen, Spud, science aren't all ordinary for folk. And the work ain't no ordinary work. I don't know if all ca capable as you are, even if you wouldn't be, I think, twice of attempting some stuff that they know on that. If you're still c certain about being involved, I'll tell you what I can. Oh, okay. I believe they're in Western Thanalam! Where we pretty much just were for the duty. The <laughs> duty! <laughs> uh, what? Oh, okay. So I want to know more about them. Surprise, I swear. If I painted a certain death to one door and a limitless wealth and limitless wealth on the, another nine out of ten adventurers would go there f go through the first and the other bloke would be chosen to be an Aldunian. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, okay, they're warned. She's warning you. Getting involved with the Scions are dangerous folk <laughs> in the sense of what they get involved in. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who've made their mission to solve some of yours or Eorzea's most pressing problems. Oh yeah, like uh, like I don't know, do carrying stuff to other places on the other side of the continent. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen here, unless they changed it. <laughs> Who knows? Of course, they ain't no small task, so they've been looking for dependable individuals, individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Spud. And I've been given to t given leave to tell you where to find the scions. You must first promise. To keep the information yourself, as can probably imagine, it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered at Vesper Bay, out of Western Thanland, the place you're looking to the called Awakened Sands. Give them whoever at their entrance, and they'll let you in. You're the man in demand, Spud. The days, of the, the days ahead promise to be busy, but I hope you don't won't forget who helped you make the adventure as you are. Drop and tell them who you've been faring sometime you hear. Right and well, I've said my piece. Off you go. All right, so let's go meet the Sions of the Seven Bazaars. How do I come up with these references? I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking of Sia Barzad, Volt Cougar, uh, Lei Wulong. I can't remember his last name. <laughs> I, I remember there was a Lei. He never got laid. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we got a hoof it there on fucking foot. What the hell am I gonna do as I like? What am I gonna talk about during all this? There's so much to talk about that I can think of in comparison, like along the Final Fantasy games, I guess, since this is what it is. But uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe I should share upon you experiences of what happened in Eleven, because we, me and my brother, we did play. Technically, we played on. This, one character, one profile. We focused all our attention on one character. And we played on PS2. Yes, it was back in the day. Ye old PS2. The funny thing is, we were actually kind of stoked. That it was our very first MMO. I guess I can go in the beginning, because this is going to be a long run, so I might as well fill the dead air. You know, might as well. But uh, it was our first MMO. And we didn't understand the concept of MMO, so at least in the sense of 11. Uh, for one, Eleven, of course, never really had waypoints telling you where to go, like, you know, right over here, go over here, go over here, kind of shit. It was very unclear. But we didn't even understand the basic concept that we were trying to, like, befriend a person who was high level, thinking, well, we want to be friended. And then the guy just, I think he was English was the second language, he just said, too weak. And I think we kind of understood, like, oh, okay. So that kind of hurt. But I think initially we started as, like, I think we went warrior or something like that. I think we, uh, originally, uh, that's not entirely true. We started as, I think, an elf. 
And elves looked weird. They like they had lanky limbs. They looked they like Elzeons, but they looked weirder in my opinion. Their lo le necks seemed longer. Their arms they looked like Seymour Guado, you know, really long arms. Shit. And uh, I think his name is Eface. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Ephius. That was a name na name generated name or whatever. Like the game came up with that. And we just rolled with it because we we're just like you know jumped in and all that. But anywho, anywho, we ended up just settling on a Hume at, at the end of the day because we, we didn't understand stat vote stat stuff, and thus we just became a Hume because we wanted to be well rounded. So we you know we just kind of noodled along in in the original. I think we were in we always chose Winders. I don't know why we liked Winders. I guess the music because MMO that MMO had music. I, I don't know why we liked we just liked Winders. Maybe we're we're a bit more we're we're wussy folk. We like that kind of shit. But we were in Windurst, leveling, warrior, such, you know, how it goes. Eventually, we decided, let's become a white mage. Because white mage, in that game, you could teleport. And uh, in a game where, you know, traveling was mostly on foot, the ability to teleport to different nations and all that kind of shit, that was handy. And it was also a business, what you can do in the game. You can teleport people, and they give you a modest fee of usually, like, 1,000 gil. At least, meh, maybe less than that, maybe 500. Because making money in that game is fucking difficult. It wasn't like you do quests. This, this. There's like barely any quests that really yielded money. And if they did yield money, it was only like 100 gold at most. It was painful. But I'm sure some of you may already know what 11 was like. But I'm just sharing my own experiences from beginning to end. I need to make note of this and continue at this point. But it was, uh, it was an interesting experience playing 11. Very slow and painful. What I did kind of like about it is the fact that you could, uh... <laughs> oh man, I'm already here. Uh, the fact that you had the subclass things. That made your jobs very individualized. The cu I love the customization of having the subclasses. And, oh man, uh, the Tatar is standing on that. Oh, man. Okay, subclasses. I'll remember to continue this conversation. Oh, man, it's now time to talk to Tataru. Subclasses. That was a concept I loved and I wish this game brought over. Anyways, deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blossoms, yearning to heaven to quench my thirst for you. Lo -do 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 -lo -lo -lo. Oh, a fellow Lollafell! I want to mate with it. I mean, uh, whoa! Cough. <coughs> that was caught uh, singing a song, huh, Virgin? I would thank you not to, uh, I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is a private pr is private public. Unless you have permanent re business here, I must ask you to. Here on behalf of behest of Yustola. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? A couple sentences of the spot the nightingale. Ah, oh, I can't read this text. Shit resolution. Oh, spot the nightingale. Ah, here you are. <clears throat> I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru. I I look forward to assisting you during the time with us. Hiya! Okay. Uh, the accident uh, which, uh, within the Solaire, I shall let her know to expect you. Oh, okay. I think we get to meet Milphilia. I think that's her name. Oh? Um. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna touch this this glowing orb. Wow! The magical orb puts me on the other side of the door! Holy shit! Fuck! Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Hello, fellow children! I see you decide to, uh... To guard the most important character of this game. You are so intimidating and stoic. I would not dare cross this threshold. <laughs> Anyways. Siren of the Seventh Dawn. We took a year spot nine ago. To the Seventh Dawn. Yeah, they have arrived. Lady Minfilio has arrived with you. This way, if you please. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm not even going to bother with this. I got good gear. That I can get in dungeons at this point. So I'll go for the pieces for now on. Hello. So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. 
Well met, friend. My name is Minpelia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. I recognize you. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large. And we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me. Have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories, and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. Now the unfortunate thing about the Echo, and, and uh, there, speak over Minfilia, it is kind of like a plot device. Like it just, it just throws you in to just give you some guidance or whatever, and it's just so random. So it, it, to me, I don't really like how it's written in. I do find the idea interesting, but from a writer standpoint, it really does kind of just be like, oh, he has a vision to go this way. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> For another blessing, the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. But what if the Echo triggers when you're in combat and you're just sitting there with your mouth agape and then you just completely get, just come back to consciousness and you're getting, I don't know, raped by Exiles or some shit? With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. I don't have a choice, I just gotta follow the story. Oh, okay, uh, enough of that voice thing. A certain number of influence analysts a certain afford the prince to deny you. I'm not entirely sure if I, I mean you got got the gist. I've, obviously they switched the text because it's like this is not important text, so uh yeah, just read it. Oh, the tire. Yeah, hello. The papers you requested, my lady. There's gonna be a little too much Lala energy in this room. I'm not liking the feng shui. Yeah, okay. Did they deliberately stack Minfilia to this level? Like, holy shit. Can you actually get breast levels to that extent in, in the character creator now that I think about it? I think it's Tar. <sighs> my pleasure is mine, my lady. 
Yes, we like the color of salmon. Have you not noticed? By the way, welcome and give the liberty and welcome the retainers. Registry, as of you now, you are entitled to the employee and service of a retainer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. If only, right? <laughs> if only you can at least have one retainer. That'd be awesome. But obviously, you know, I don't want to give you too much now. It's enough that you get to play the game, right? Forgive me. Yada yada. In good faith, I entrust you to order the password. Which I... It is Wild Rose. Pray you keep it safe. Is that the password when we're supposed to... Wait, we actually whisper in the door? Is that what lets us in? Whispering Rose. Oh, yeah. You get free teleport tickets. That's cool. Hiring a retainer. Okay. Science the seventh on. And I'll go where the wild rose blooms. Well, okay. Well, if you say so, Minfilio, I will do whatever I you take say. It, you will help us. Oh shit! Okay. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? Uh, Charlie. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Kind of interesting they're mentioning Char 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 I can't even say it properly. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! That's her voice? Well, then again, they probably changed the voice actress when it came to Stormblood, so, yeah. Welcome. Then again, that's probably why she's probably doing something with her voice, too. That, at least that's what it's trying to imply. <sighs> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may. The lovely maiden beside me is named Yashtola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. I wonder if she, she would shift, like, if I was in Limsa, or not... Uh, since I was in Limsa, she's in Limsa. And if I'm in Ulda, would she be stationed in Ulda? And, you know, so, far, so on and so forth. That's actually interesting if that's the case. I have been expecting you. Last but not least is Urianger who presides over all affairs within these halls. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Oh, I love this nerd. I, I just, just how he talks is very entertaining. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartoneau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's people that ha find Lala's adorable. But there's a big fan base behind Tataru. It's weird, but it, there is a case with that. I guess with, with every character in this game. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Ah. Oh. have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. 
We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Son's mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. <sighs> Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Okay. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. What about the twins? I can't remember. I thought they were scions. They're, just, they're hanging, hanging behind the shadows right now. Nobody really likes them anyways, but you know what? I am curious of when the hell they appear. Hey, thank Cred. I thank for my meeting of you, Cred. Ready to begin? That's the spirit. So any mission to investigate the crystal robbery this is in the set speed of deductions. Crime is to conduct and connect it, assuming it is correct. I'd like the discoveries of a little further understanding another. In the light of this, something something, something that a fellow in the Okay. Alright. So we gotta go with Camp Dry Bone. <laughs> the bones be dry. I will consult the bones that are dry. Right, this camp dry bone is that actually in Western Fan? Can't remember. I do remember the name. I'm going by name alone. Bad no by name. I feel like I think that might be East Fan. Let's see. Ah, oh, it is Eastern Fan. My memory does serve. So we haven't been there yet. But damn. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it here. Let's uh let's take a pop a squat next to to Taru. I think this will teleport me on a seat. Whoops, I didn't even do that. But there we go. Oh Okay, we sit on chair. So everyone, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more of this Final Fantasy game. I like I'm liking playing it. <laughs> even if it is an MMO. Having some funny interactions. It is kinda of fun to see the community every now and then. And what they do. So anyways, peace out everyone. Till next time.